Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in this video today we are going to discuss about a feature which is really required especially when you are dealing with uh, uh, web services and you, are, you, you, you need to do some sort of integration and you want to provide uh, APIs to the external systems or uh, third parties. So one way is you just give access to the table and let them insert, update, delete and that's it. Uh, but ideally when you are dealing with the external uh, parties, you need certain business logics to be uh, incorporated inside your APIs. So even if someone is uh, inserting or updating data, there should be certain validation by the internal system before uh, updating in the table. So for this, uh, let's say this is my uh, Apex. Let me show you the version. So if there is slight difference in the layout, you shouldn't be confused. It is 23.1.3 okay? and it is apex.oracle.com, the free edition. So you will go to the SQL workshop, utilities and then methods on tables. So today's topic is methods on tables. I will show you in a while what exactly it is. So what should be my package name? For example, I have chosen uh, a name. I need a, a method on the table. My table name is EBA project. So I'm just going to do it like this, right? So EBA projects underscore API, right? And nothing else, just click next. Now it is asking me table so since it is single table I am just going to provide over here right this is standard table so I just selected for this demo you can have your own demo, uh, table okay so next and this is my package name and this is my schema okay now what it is going to do it is saying please confirm your request uh, it will create a package uh, with these all details and it will have these sub programs procedures so first will be for the insert then there will be for updates deletes and for the get okay so four procedures let me create it and then we will go inside our package the package name will be EBA underscore projects underscore API. Excellent. Okay. So if you see here, uh, this is my package. If you uh, can see all those uh, procedures are there with the parameters. And if you see with their types, this is for insert. So in your APIs or external integration, you are going to use this package. So this package access will be given to the external party. And if you see here, uh, this is for update. I will show you in the body as well. There is a lot of coding already done for you. So this is get, this is uh, procedure for table projects. This get procedure for table EBA projects. And it has, if you see here, MD5 as well. EBA projects MD5. It, this will encrypt as well. So let me go to the body. So this is my first procedure, which is for insert. So here I can add my business logic validations. So whatever data is there coming inside this API, I can validate, right? So external party will don't need to worry about it. My business logics or my validations or my, uh, I mean, internal con uh, constraints or whatever it is. So you have to provide them the documentation that guys, okay, you have this API and you need to pass this, 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 and these other types, okay? Watch our number, whatever, and that's it. This is automatic sequence, the ID, they don't need to worry about it. And here is the insert, okay? Then there is an update, okay? So there is a MD5 as well, if you see here down, okay? So 
then is equal to this so it is checking that uh, it shouldn't be changed right so it is matching with it maybe someone else changed the uh, record so you shouldn't be able to change in that sense right See? so for all these columns it is calculating the md5 and here it is and then it will raise current version of the data in database has changed maybe someone else has changed it since user initiated update process current checksum so this checksum it will be matched over here and it is calculating down the checksum that's why this is called see i will show you down this is for delete okay and where is the checksum i think this one so it will uh, get the data from the table uh, it will calculate its checksum then it will compare and you know uh, it, it, it you will be able to so before starting your row uh, update you will get the uh, report from the table and during this time if someone change it then you know it will not allow it because now the version is different in the table so this sort of and this is hash it will has hash calculation this is the hash built right so this is how it is computing its hash so this hash will be uh, compared with the current hash it will again match with it right so this is how you can create methods on your tables use in your apis as external integrations share with your clients and let them use this even inside your uh, organization with other systems or application instead of giving direct access to the tables you should create such apis so you can tomorrow add any business logics or any validation or any constraints whatever you want in this package but you will not be able to uh, do that in the tables and if you will not do this and you will give direct access to other systems or other developers they will not know what exactly they uh, are what kind of data they need to insert in the table right so this is the best practice uh, and developer should adopt it uh, based on their requirements the way they want so this is this demo was on the single table you can have uh, on multiple tables so they will, there will be multiple packages and you can use that now uh, this package or this api when you are using quick sql uh, there is a parameter over there you can select and it is created over there but if you are not using quick sql and you are directly create you you, you are already having table right in your uh, schema and you need to create this so this is the best way uh, from here methods on tables right please share your comments or feedback on this uh, video if it was something new or uh, something beneficial so it will give us a feedback as well. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.